Hello everyone, welcome back to Being and Iron. Today's video is going to be a little different because I'm going to share with you the 10 things that I wish I knew before losing 70 pounds. As you probably guessed, I used to weigh significantly more than I do now. I lost a total of 70 pounds and I want to share with you the things that I learnt along the way. So let's get started with the top 10 things that I wish I knew before losing 70 pounds. Number one, consistency is key. Losing weight and keeping it off requires a consistent effort. Rather than trying to make drastic changes all at once, focus on small, sustainable changes to your lifestyle that you can then maintain over the long term. So for example, you could start by walking for 30 minutes a day or try swapping unhealthy snacks for healthier alternatives. Number two is having a support system. Having a support system can make a huge difference in your weight loss journey. So surround yourself with people who encourage and motivate you and who will support you through all those ups and downs. You could even join a weight loss group or find a workout buddy who shares your goals. Or you could even subscribe to Bearded Iron. Number three, don't focus on the number on the scale. While the number on the scale can be a good way to track progress, it's not the only way. Focus on other metrics of progress, such as how do you close fit and how much more energy do you have? Number four is exercise is important, but it's not the only thing that matters. Eating a healthy, balanced diet is just as important as your exercise. So make sure you're getting plenty of fruit, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Number five is that it is okay to have setbacks. No one is perfect and setbacks are a normal part of anyone's weight loss journey. So don't beat yourself up if you slip up or have a bad day. Instead, focus on getting back on track and making healthier choices and keep moving forward. Number six, don't compare yourself to others. Everyone's weight loss journey is different. So it's important to focus on your own progress and not to compare yourself to others. Remember that everyone starts from a different place and also progresses at their own pace. Number seven would be make small changes to your diet. So rather than making any drastic swings in your diet, make small changes that you can sustain over time. For example, you could start cutting back on the sugary drinks or swapping white bread for whole grain bread. These small things will all add up over time and with consistency. Number eight is staying hydrated. Drinking plenty of water is important for overall health and can help you with your weight loss. You need to aim to drink at least eight glasses of water per day and avoid sugary drinks and alcohol. Those things just waste calories. Tip number nine is to find activities that you enjoy. Exercise doesn't have to be and shouldn't be a chore. Find activities that you enjoy, such as hiking, dancing, or swimming. Not only will you be much more likely to stick with it, but you'll also have fun while getting in shape. So win-win. Number 10 is to celebrate your progress. It's important to celebrate your achievements along the way, no matter how small they may be. So treat yourself to a new workout outfit, or indulge in a small treat that you've been craving. Celebrating your progress can help keep you motivated and focused on your weight loss goals. I hope that you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a great big thumbs up and subscribe to Bearded Iron for more videos that will help you drop the belly fat. If you have any questions whatsoever, please drop them down in the comments. Check out this next video if you want to keep smashing your weight loss goals. I'll see you over there. Bearded Iron out.